You can log into Nearpod by visiting nearpod.com, choosing Log In. You can either sign up for a new account this way, log in with a username and password, or use the single sign-on buttons with Google or Office 365 depending on what kind of email address you have. I'm going to choose Log In with Google. Once I do this, it automatically takes me to my Nearpod My Library, which is the home base where all of your Nearpod lessons can live. You can also find ready-made lessons in the Nearpod Lesson Library, find reports here, or launch live or student-based lessons. And that's how you log into Nearpod. Get ready to watch. It's time to learn about Nearpod's Control Center. The Control Center gives teachers special powers to enhance the live lesson experience. This is the teacher screen when you're logged into Nearpod and have opened a session. To show you from left to right, this button allows you to exit the lesson. This shows the code and you can click it and the code will encompass more of the screen and give you a few other ways to share the code. This allows you to access the reports from this Nearpod lesson. It's not the only way, but it is one way to get to the reports for this specific session. This allows you to end the session. When you do this, the code will no longer work for students. This button is the Add Activity button, which will allow you to use Nearpod features on the fly. You can add in a website, an open-ended question, a draw it activity, make a new slide, or insert a true-false question that wasn't part of the original presentation. This button allows you to change to student view. When doing this, it allows you to display what the students see on your projected screen. To switch back, you can click the switch to teacher view. On the bottom, we have three important buttons. This button shows who has logged into this session. I have 27 people. I can remove people from the session by clicking this button. This button is a scrubber, which allows you to move to different slides within the lesson. And you can actually hide student names while projecting by clicking this hide student names button. These buttons on the side advance the presentation or go backward. Welcome to the new Nearpod My Library interface. I want to walk you through some things that have changed and that will help you to navigate even easier within your Nearpod My Library. First of all, we have the home base. When you click this house button, it returns you to this screen to where your My Library is. You can find your ready-made lessons in the Nearpod Lesson Library by clicking here. And these are lessons ready to download and use with students. I'm going to return by clicking the house and now I'm back at my library. Additionally, you have your school and district libraries located here that you can access lessons saved to those specific libraries. You have on the left here, additional access to your supplemental curriculum packages that have been purchased through Nearpod. Your reports can be found here, as well as teacher resources, FAQ documents, and you can learn about new features here under what's new. This plus sign up here in the upper right corner will allow you to create a new lesson in Google Slides or in the traditional method in Nearpod. You can also add a folder. This button allows you to access your account options. You can change them by clicking this gear here. This screen shows the account options where they can be changed. You can still launch lessons live or student page from My Library. You just hover over them, choose the method by which you would like to launch them. You can edit them here. You can still share them in the way that you did before. In addition, folders can now have subfolders added to them, and so this helps you organize your library even further. And that's the Nearpod My Library home screen. I can create my own collection of ready-made lessons from the Nearpod Lesson Library. As you can see here, I'm in my library in the Nearpod menu. To get to the Nearpod Lesson Library, I click this button on the left sidebar. This takes me into the Nearpod Lesson Library where I can search for a specific lesson. I'll start with fractions. 
These search results return a variety of lessons for a variety of grade levels that have to do with fractions. If I'd like to narrow that search, I can do that on the sidebar like this. So you can see I've selected fifth grade math. This returns lessons that are specific to fifth grade math. I can preview any of these lessons by hovering over the thumbnail and clicking it. Here, I can preview the lesson to see if it's what I want, and if it is, I click Add to my library, then changes to Show in my library. If I click here, I can launch the lesson. This screen allows me to launch it live or student paste, edit it, or share it. I can also return back to my library by clicking Blue House in the corner, and I am now able to launch the lesson by hovering over it, clicking Live Lesson Student Paste. I can edit it here or preview it.